Hey guys, Hardy Aquariums here today, and I'm bringing you something a little different. Um, I'm going to be planting some of our winter garden right now. So I have three packs of seeds. I got broccoli, lettuce, and okra. I've never grown broccoli or okra. Um, I think it's a little late in the season for broccoli. It's currently December 5th but the lettuce should do just fine and I've never grown okra either so we'll see how it does currently we have beets, scallions, swiss chard and bib lettuce planted so I'll show you the steps today we're gonna dig out the garden uh, just kind of turn the soil lay some drip lines and then plant the seeds so thanks for I'm just going to be focusing on this side here and I've already started turning the soil a little bit. After you turn your soil Grab a rake and smooth the soil out so you have a nice flat surface for when you plant. For all our vegetables we use drip tape. It's a really nice way to save money on water costs. You don't overuse water because the tape has holes about every 8 inches and they just drip, get the soil wet around the plant and then you turn them off until they're ready to water again. So here's the tape, you can buy a whole big thing of it, it'll last you a really long time. So I'm going to replace old drip tape now and show you what we do. This is some good drip tape already. Make sure that you put the holes face up. It'll keep them from getting clogged. And then when you plant, you'll know exactly where the holes are. So at the end of the drip line, you just tie a knot. Make sure you tie it tight, use your teeth or something. And then just to secure the knot and the drip line, just get a little hook, one of these. This is an old one, you can see it's rusty, but it works, lasts a while. And you just push it down, and now you have secure drip. the water and make sure that the uh, lines are all working properly. Also when you do this you're going to moisten the soil and when you have loose soil like this it can be hard to plant. You have to make your hole. You can see the dirt kind of just keeps filling in there every time you make a hole so you're gonna turn the water on dampen the soil which will make it firmer and then when you put your finger in there you'll have a nice hole to sprinkle your seeds in so I'm gonna moisten the soil now and then we'll be ready to plant Most vegetables require 8 inch spacing, like this romaine lettuce, you're supposed to thin plants to 8 inches apart once they get 
two inches tall. So this already does it for you. You just put a hole right next to each hole on the drip line, just like that. Don't be afraid to get really close to the drip line. It's okay. Plants will kind of grow around it. Here, do it right here. And then you can just sprinkle your seeds in, cover it up, and you're ready to move on to the next row, and the next row, and the next row. Two seeds per hole. We're going to do one to two seeds per hole. After you're finished planting all of your seeds, water your ground for a little longer than you normally would. Just because the seeds are fresh, they're dry, you want the soil to be nice and moist. So initially water for maybe 30 minutes. After that you can water about 15 minutes every other day or just enough so that the soil stays damp. Okay guys, thanks for watching. That's all I have for you today. I'll give you an update on the garden once everything gets going a little bit. Thanks for watching.